So as we know, last week was the Nintendo Direct, and it was a really, really good Nintendo Direct with tons of stuff. And we finally got a Metroid Prime announcement, not maybe the one people were looking for, which would have been, at least for me, the entire Metroid Prime trilogy. We heard that those games are all being remastered. It would have been cool to put those into a single game for the Nintendo Switch, or even better would have been a Metroid Prime 4 announcement, which... Sometimes I almost have given up on that game because it's been so long since they announced it with all the stuff going on with the development of it. I just, I wonder where that game is right now, but I can't wait to see more eventually when they do show it off. But they did give us Metroid Prime Remastered, which I'm pretty exciting because I love the original Metroid Prime. I do have the physical version pre-ordered, so that will be coming sometime soon. And it looks like which I think makes a ton of sense because they didn't announce the trilogy that they are going to be giving us also Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3 in their own games. I mean, they aren't full price games, so it makes it uh, more reasonable to do this. And this comes via Jeff Grubb, the insider, who says in a response to Max Wright Prime on Twitter, we'll just pull it up here, saying... When Jeff Grubb first spoke about Metroid Prime Remastered, he also said that his understanding was that Prime 2 and 3 would also be on their way, just not fully remastered. If that's still the case, I'm still excited for these games to be accessible. So interesting there because they aren't fully remastered. And from what we're seeing right now with the Metroid Prime Remasters, that they did a really, really good job, but they will still be coming. And then it may also mean that they just have more of an upgraded version to them. We actually take a look here at the Metroid Prime Remaster. They did a tech analysis of this. I believe this was from Digital Foundry. And everything we've seen so far with this game is they did an incredible job with bringing this game up to a more modern look. So some of the things people will be interested in, Metroid Prime 4 Remastered when docked is 900p. This is one thing that's kind of like, okay, 900p docked on a big screen TV. A lot of people have 4K screens now, so I wish it would have at least been 1080p. This kind of is showing the age of the Nintendo Switch, which is why at some point, hopefully we get a Nintendo Switch Pro announced. And then 600p in portable mode, which is okay because... I guess most games on there are 720p in portable mode. So it's just, it's 600. I mean, you're probably not going to notice it that much on the size of the screen. I can't highlight this thing, but anyways, 600p in portable mode. Do wish it would have been 1080p in, in docked mode because that's probably the main way I'm going to be playing most of it. But it is at a st steady 60 frames per second with absolutely no frame rate dips, which is great, which is something you should expect from a GameCube game onto the Nintendo Switch. But there's lots of other good things like the areas are more lifelike. The visual design of each area has been updated. That's great to see. New light sources I've been added. Lighting is such a key thing for how good these games look and the immersion of them. They are existing objects in the world have been given emissive properties and just a bunch of other things. But from everything that we know and have seen so far about Metroid Prime Remastered is the game is looking and playing so much better. I mean, you can see it right here just with these side-by-side -side comparisons. So if they could do something like this for Metro Prime 2 and Metro Prime 3, I will be excited. I will be picking up the physical copies of all of them because I absolutely love the Metroid Prime series. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. What do you guys think about Metroid Prime? Are you looking forward to playing the remastered version if you haven't yet? And do you think that we are going to be getting Metro Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3 in their own forms coming later from Nintendo? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, year, hit that subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.